As we do, we remember the words of our Lord. I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live even though he dies. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Let us pray. Our Father, we commit into your hands our dear brother John. We do so, Lord, with the hope that we will see him again at the resurrection. Make it. <laughs> Listen, I wouldn't feel right if I couldn't show up. Yeah, I hear you. So what are you doing? What have you been up to? Well, listen, a few years ago, your father gave me something. And he asked specifically that you get this and you read this. Wait, wait, what? What's, what's this supposed to be? Listen, I'm really sorry. But we'll get together, all right? Soon. You take care of yourself. Mr. Redwood. As we were saying before, Mark, we're very excited and think that you would be a great asset to the company. Can we just go over a few details with you? no excuse, but the reason why I am writing this is because I have no other way to let you know. It doesn't mean that it's right, but it's just one of those unfortunate things. Since your mother died, it seems like I've been lost with many of the decisions I've been making. Everything has been ruptured since then, and my view on everything has been completely tilted. The truth is, I've never had a clue on how to be a father, or a good one at that. It was something that I heavily relied on your mother for, to raise you as part of this family. I can't tell you how scared I am, and I know you're probably just as scared as me, but I keep having this itching thought that however hard I try, I'll always be too late, too much, or even too little. I don't want to fail you. The only thing I can say is that I promise to do everything I can with the best intentions. And even if it may be indirect and not exactly ideal, it's the only way I know. I'd like to say that I hope you'll get this. 